Welcome back to educator.com. This is the lesson on fungi. So the basics of fungi as a kingdom, uh, these are the characteristics of kingdom fungi. Multicellular eukaryotes, they have that in common with plants, they have that in common with animals, but what makes them more unique? Well, cell walls made of chitin. If we looked at other cell walls like cell walls in plants, those are typically cellulose. And then if we talked about cell walls in bacteria, that's typically peptidoglycan. So this is definitely unique to the fungal kingdom, chitin. And chitin is one of the many uh, polysaccharides that you can find uh, naturally on Earth. So, you know, obviously cellulose is another polysaccharide, chitin a bit different. Feed off of dead decaying matter or they're parasitic. Uh, there are animals out there that feed off of dead decaying matter and there are those that are parasitic, but fungi classically are doing that. Fungi in a forest, fungi in any environment are helping to decompose what's in the ground, get it back into an organism, and then it's a part of the food chain again because there are animals uh, that would eat the fungus. And then there are other funguses that eat fungus as well. They typically digest first and then they ingest. So let me explain. The average animal will ingest, meaning put it into its body through the mouth, and then it will digest it afterwards, break it down while it's in the body. But the average fungus will secrete a substance outside of its body to break down the pieces of the organism into little tiny bits so that they then can take it in because a fungus doesn't have a mouth. It uh, just wants to absorb those substances through its cells. So digest, then ingest. And then fungi, they reproduce asexually and or sexually. A lot of fungi can do either. And with animals, um, you see a lot more of like, oh, they're just doing one or the other, and sexual reproduction is the typical way that animals do it. But you see a lot of asexual uh, with fungi, even more advanced fungi. They are more closely related to kingdom animalia than plantae. Not just in, in the sense that they are heterotrophic, meaning eating and, and getting a food source from outside of itself, they're not making their own food, but genetically. Like if you compare the genetics of you and a mushroom, it sounds funny, but you have more in common with a mushroom than you do a tree. So here's a variety of uh, fungi. A lot of these in this picture are um, club fungi, mushrooms and their relatives. All right, fungal structure. Hyphae is the, the real common kind of uh, body part for a fungus. So here's fungal hyphae below the surface. This is ground, this is soil. And I know that you, you might wanna call these roots um, but all of this, these strands of cells that then can emerge through mitosis from out of the ground inside of a mushroom. All of these are hyphae. So one of them is a hypha, but plural, if we're talking about a lot of them, hyphae. And it's just strands of cells. If we zoom into them, so here we're zooming into uh, one little hyphal strand, some of them in certain species have little walls between each cell, which is, you know, kind of normal for multicellular organisms. This is called septate because each of these is a septa. Uh, so the septa, they separate individual cells, just like you would see in a multicellular animal or plant. But you have other ones, like a lot of molds, are eps, or sorry, aseptate, which is sort of weird to think about, but it's just like one continuous long cell with free-floating nuclei. They're not separated by cell walls made of chitin. The other term for this is cenocytic. Let me spell that out nicer for you. depending on what source you look in, uh, you'll see either term aseptate, lacking the septa, or cenocytic. Um, mycelium is the specific part of the fungus 
that is feeding off of the food. And with a mushroom, the mycelium would be the part that's actually in the ground, that's actually growing in the soil. So whatever part of the fungus is embedded in its nutrient source, that is the mycelium. Now spores are what are dropped out of the fruiting body. So spores will land in the ground and they will make new hyphal strands. And they can grow into another fruiting body. Speaking of fruiting body, that's what this is. Regardless of what fungus it is, if there is a section devoted towards making spores, it is known as a fruiting body. These come from the fruiting body. And depending on the type of fungus, It'll be called a basidiocarp or an ascocarp, etc.